Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the top 10 things you must do on Celebrity Summit, right after this. Hey everyone, Johnny from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks so much for coming to check us out. We are trying to get to 3,000 subscribers this month. We would love for you to subscribe. Come along on the journey with us. So uh, today we're gonna be talking about the top 10 things to do on Celebrity Summit. I just got off the ship yesterday. I was on a 10 day sailing. So I have a pretty good feel for everything going on on the ship. It's a small ship. Uh, it's an older crowd. There's not a, you know, five million things to do. So it wasn't uh, the normal, pretty easy, like way to gather 10 things, but we did get 10 things. They're all really fun things. So let's talk about them. As per normal, if you are watching this, some of these are going to be uh, complimentary items. Some of them are going to be paid and I will tell you what those things are and I'll kind of give you an idea of cost. So let's get into it. Number one, watch a movie on the rooftop terrace. So all the way at the top of the ship on deck 12, in the back, very back of the ship at the aft, there is uh, like a little movie theater area, right? It's outside, it's got little pergolas up so that you could sit there. I actually watched a movie in the rain, so you could sit out there, uh, not in the pouring rain, but you could sit out there if it's raining a little bit. I watched Top Gun Maverick out there. Uh, had a really nice time. They don't do popcorn or anything. They do popcorn in the theater at night. Sometimes they do a movie. Uh, be really fun if they did some popcorn out there, but they uh, but they don't. And they do show like three or four movies a day. Sometimes it's on repeat. Sometimes they switch it up. I saw uh, Top Gun Maverick and I also saw Fisherman's Friend, uh, One and For All. I think that's what it was called. Both really good, fun time. There's loungers out there. There's normal like seats. You could sit and hang out. That is a really fun thing to do. Number two, Le Petit Chef. So this is, if you have a dining package, obviously you can use your dining package. If not, if this is $70, uh, it is so worth it if you're gonna do it. Now, here's what I will say. There are two different menus that they do. They do one uh, normal menu that they do most of the cruise. Uh, and then they have a special lobster menu that they do one or two nights a cruise. If you're going to pay for it uh, out of pocket, a la carte, I would probably recommend going to the lobster one. Both of them are really fun. The videos are amazing. I really thought it was gonna be a little corny uh, and cheesy, but it's not. It's really fun. It's super interesting how they do it. I thought it was just gonna be on the plate. It's the whole table uh, that has the uh, video going. It's everyone loved it. Everyone I was in there with, well, I went three times. So everyone loved it. I did the regular menu twice. I did the uh, lobster menu once. I'm going to do a whole review of it uh, on the channel here in a few days, but it is just a ton of fun. So that is my number two. Number three, chef's table. This is like $120. Um, look, I get it if you don't want to spend extra money on your cruise. Uh, there are people who sail uh, and go strictly budget. Once they get on the ship, they want that you know, uh, the, their kind of onboard account at the end of the cruise to be zero or as close to that as possible. I get it. If you pay for a uh, chef's table ahead of time, it's like a hundred bucks, a little over a hundred bucks. It is a really, really cool experience. So you get the menu, you get a picture, uh, and you get a cookbook and you get to do a tour of the kitchen while it's working. It is so much fun. I can't recommend it anymore. The food is very good. The service is amazing. You get to sit at a table with like eight people. You get to meet some really great people. Check it out. It's a fun time. I know it's a lot of money, but uh, if you're looking for something fun to do, you don't mind spending a couple extra bucks. It's a lot of fun. So the next one, no cost. Spend a morning or afternoon in the solarium. There is also the spa cafe there, which is complimentary. So you can get breakfast or lunch there. It's small, it's a little healthier fare. So you can get some fruit, you can get like a tuna salad sandwich, uh, but everything's really good there. It's quiet, there's not a line there. You can get coffee and tea there. Uh, and it is a warmer pool and there's hot tubs there. And it's a very like spa-like environment. Highly recommend it. That is my number four. Number five is go to the full moon party. So uh, generally this is the second or third evening of your cruise they do it's like kind of like a glow party uh, they call it the full moon party it's a lot of fun they give out the little uh those big like 
shakers that have lights on them, that strobe lights on them. Uh, and it's like seventies and eighties music. Obviously it's an older crowd and celebrity. So, uh, it's a little more disco -y vibe, but it is a ton of fun. Uh, the cruise director staff on the ship is really great. So go to that. It is the full moon party. Next up, number six, the captain's ocean ahead seminar. I went to this, it was about an hour long and it is riveting. So captain Nigel Smith, uh, comes down and he is from Ireland and he talks about what it takes basically to run the ship. So he goes through uh, all of the kind of engines, what kind of gases they use, how efficient it is. Uh, he talks all about how it's basically like running a small city, about the water, about uh, the azipods, how everything works on the ship. It sounds boring, but it's not. It's super fascinating and he's very engaging. He answers questions. He's very interactive. It's a great time. I highly recommend it. I also went to the Q and a with him and Tabor, the, uh, uh, hotel director fascinating. That was fascinating too. So go to one of the captains, either the Q and a or the oceans ahead sem seminar. It's really, really great. The captain on the ship was everywhere. I saw him all the time. He was out and about talking to guests. He was great. So check that out. That's a fun one for number six, number seven, the safe archery game. It's the first time I've seen this on a cruise. So basically they have like a blow up, this big blow up uh, tent and it has uh, little balls that are basically being like suspended in the air by like air blowing them up. And then you get a, a bow and arrow. It has like a suction cup on the end of it and you have to knock them down. You play against the officers. It is a ton of fun. I went to it twice. They did it two times. So much fun. Uh, I recommend going check it out. It is really, really a good time. It's something different that you don't see on every cruise and it's a lot of fun. Go check that out. Also free, nothing nothing costs there. Number eight, get a gelato at Cafe Albaccio. It's a couple bucks or if you are elite or higher, you get a free scoop of gelato. So go check it out. It is on deck five, right around midship there. Cafe Albaccio was packed the whole cruise. I'm still amazed even on a uh, celebrity with an older crowd, I'm still amazed at how many people pay for fancy coffee. Uh, you know, generally speaking, I, I drink black coffee and I'm a little bit of a coffee snob, but I do not pay for like premium coffee. Generally speaking, I will not pay for premium coffee on a cruise unless I have like Starbucks gift cards or something if I'm on Royal or Norwegian. But the amount of people at Cafe Albaccio every day getting like lattes and everything. It is a, a fun spot to hang out. They have service. They will come around and serve you coffee and everything. It's fun. The snacks there are free. The gelato is a couple bucks, but it's very good. Go check it out. They're open till late at night. It's a lot of fun. Number nine, check out the silent disco. I was calling it the sitting disco this week. Uh, again, it's a little bit of an older crowd and uh, a lot of people put their headphones on and they were just sitting around the bar, which is hilarious. Uh, but it is a good time. If you haven't done silent disco before, it's really fun. They basically have three channels of music. You put headphones on, you can put whatever channel you want on in your headphones. There's a DJ playing music on three different channels and you just hang out and you have a good time. It is really fun to watch too and see people yelling and screaming words to music uh, and you have no idea what's going on. They're dancing. Ton of fun. Go check that out. Of course, there's no cost to that. The last one does have a cost. It is the behind the scenes ship tour. Uh, it is a full tour of the behind the scenes of the ship all down uh, I-95, the big corridor through the middle of the ship where all the uh, workers are. It goes through the laundry, the kitchens, the freezers, how they uh, make, you know, fresh water, everything. It's, it's again, it's a little expensive. It's a little over hundred dollars. I was trying to put things together on the ship uh, that are free. Generally, I can come up with more things that are free, but it, if you want a really interesting experience you take home with you and you could do video and get some pictures, it is really fascinating how a ship, even a ship of this size, which isn't huge, it's still like a little city. So uh, I, I can't recommend it anymore. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. It's really interesting and you will have a great time. Those are my top 10 things to do on Celebrity Summit. Do you have any you'd like to add? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks again so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.